Hello watch fans, this is Anders here on Watch On Channel. Today the review of a new limited marine conservation society Spinnaker dive watch. So this was sent from Spinnaker, this company known for making very affordable automatic dive watches for review here on the channel. I do get to keep the watch, full disclosure. If you're interested in this watch, you can find the link to the website down in the description. Also, you will find a discount code. If you use this discount code on any product on Spinnaker's website, you will get a discount and some few percentages will go towards this channel. Thank you. Inside of the box, you find this very cool little piece of art here with the turtle, the whale and the octopus. This Marine Conservation Society limited edition watch comes in three different versions. The Marine Conservation Society is all about cleaning the oceans and reducing plastic in the oceans. You can read more about this on Spinnaker's website. So let's get into the watch. Here we have the watch. This is the red version. It comes in three different versions with three different collection types or models from Spinnaker's collection. So the Spence 300, the Cahill 300 and the Haas 300. This particular watch here I got in my hands is the Cahill 300. You also get a really nice NATO nylon strap here. Really nice quality, you'll be getting more into this. And then you open this little part here. You actually get a, a tool for removing the strap, extra spring bars. Here we have the Spinnaker Marine Conservation Society limited edition up and close. You see this is the burgundy. Burgundy is of course a very popular color these days because of the Tudor Black Bay 41 in the new version with the burgundy bezel so they chose the right color for this watch you see very interesting dial this is a really cool dial it has an amazing loom effect which i'm going to show you in this review so simple kind of layout except for the face of the dial with this octopus you see this nice artwork here automatic you see here 300 meters of water resistance limited edition then you get these applied hour markings here which are loom filled you get the mercedes hands style which is also loomed and then the second hand with the blue and then the red tip and then you get the rehaul with blue with minute and second markings. Also really cool detail with the date window here. The date window is inverted or in black with pink writing so a lot of coloring on this watch. It is made in 316L stainless steel. Some pretty nice brushing on the top of the locks and the, on the side of the case and then you get this nice polished chamfering just to give it a little bit of play. These watches are priced at $370. Some nice finishing at this price point. You see very slightly domed sapphire crystal with AR treatment. Screw down crown here without any crown guards signed with the Spinnaker logo. Screw down case back. Again with the octopus. The reference number SP-5125, stainless steel, all of that. The bracelet it comes on is an H-link brushed bracelet with push pins, but it was very, very easy to actually remove these links. Simple clasp here with a dive watch extension and three micro adjustments. This is not very pretty, this dive watch extension, so let's just hide it again. Two push button release and friction and fold over, so very secure. Not a piece of art in any way, but at this price point, I think it's a, a perfectly fine clasp. So the watch measures 43 millimeters in diameter, 14 millimeters in thickness, including this very slightly domed sapphire crystal. Then you have 49.5 millimeters lock tip to lock tip, which is really nice because it is a 43 millimeter watch, but kind of a shorter lock to lock. And you see female end links, so it will actually wear to its true size. You don't have this part of the bracelet going out from the case. Really nice and down sloping locks as well. 22 millimeter lock with here and the bracelet tapers down to 18 millimeters. So nice taper also. Inside of the watch, not surprisingly, beats the Seiko NH35A automatic movement with approximately 42 hours of power swift and 21,600 vibrations power. So let's just have a look at the accuracy because I'm pretty impressed with the accuracy of this watch. So between three and four seconds plus per day, the amplitude isn't the best, it should be a little bit higher with a brand new watch and we do get a little bit of beat error, but for 370 US dollars I think it's a nice 
accuracy you get with this Seiko movement, which is also very easy to service. The bezel insert is stainless steel, at least that's what it says in the press release. Very easy to grip, 120 click, unidirectional, not a high-end luxury feeling in any way, but it does the job without any play. And now to the biggest gimmick and the coolest feature of this Spinnaker watch, and that is the Lume. It is Swiss Super Luminova. And as you can see on the screen now, really cool use of different colors, extremely strong Lume. This is very well done. And of course, the very cool gimmick and detail of this watch is that actually the octopus on the dial, it lights up as you can see, it looks extremely nice. I really like this detail. I think it's a nice little thing. Here the Spinnaker watch is on my 17 and a half centimeter wrist circumference. It is definitely a big dive watch, a big sports watch, but it can easily be worn on a wrist size of my size here. I would have wished that they made it in 41 millimeters instead, I think 43, although you actually need some real estate on the dial to actually have this cool octopus loom thing. I think they should have made it a little bit smaller. So the nylon strap is really, really nice quality. I'm very surprised with the quality, it's super soft. The stitching feels really good, nice leather with the holes here. You see you get a lot of holes, so you should be able to fit it on both larger and smaller wrists. And as you can see, it wears really nicely on my wrist. I'm not usually a big NATO fan. I do wear NATO straps sometimes. And I think this is definitely one of the better NATO straps I have experienced. So you can see here, 166 grams. It's definitely a heavy watch. It really has its heft on your wrist. So all in all, I must say I'm very sympathetic to watch Spinnaker's idea of actually making this kind of contribution to a charity like Marine Conservation Society. So part of the proceeds, the profits of selling these watches, they go to watch this Marine Conservation Society. Have a look at their website if you're interested again, and you can use the discount code. For me, I think it's a funny watch, a funny gimmick. I'm not sure that I would ever wear a watch too many times because it's a very pronounced watch with this crazy dial, but it's definitely a fun idea, so I applaud this idea. I would have wished that they made it a little bit smaller, as I said before, but other than that, I think you get really, really great loom. You get a very acceptable bracelet and clasp, a really nice additional nylon strap, and you also do get AR treatment, sapphire crystal, and some decent accuracy with this Seiko movement. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.